How you doing guys? Uh, just came off my, my deer hunt right here. This is the buck I killed. He's already been caped out and he's, his antlers have been frozen. But uh, if you guys haven't seen those videos from the hunting trip, it's three part series. You guys should go check them out. Links are down below and stuff. But it's a pretty cool series. You guys get to see me uh, stalk some big bucks. It's hard to get them all in the frame. But this is the buck. We're taking him to the taxidermist now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get him mounted. Should be getting him back pretty soon. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to see see how he's going to turn out. We'll leave that address because it's kind of hard to find. But uh, we're going to take the deer in see see what this is all about. It's already thawing out, but let's go do it. We're here in the taxidermy shop. We got Chip Roger. He's How's the owner. <laughs> and uh, he has a beautiful shop here in Henderson. He just started up. Uh, about what six months ago December yeah. December okay all right so this is where our mount's gonna be he does great work and uh, those all those trophies there prove it <laughs> but um yeah we're looking forward to getting it back Look at this little guy right here that's pretty cool this is a pretty cool mount line we gotta get one one day wow. it's tight. nice yeah, he does really good work. This is a big one, man. A big one, the zebra. Dang, that thing was a fighter right there. You see all these scars. Yeah. There's a really cool black bear right here, too. Dang. And then goose right here. I plan on getting some of these guys real soon. That'd be really cool to have one of those, huh? Oh yeah, those are nice. Really nice. You need one of everything in here. <laughs> yeah. Try out. There's just some of the phones that go under. Very cool. All right, so we're headed out of here. All right, thank you. Thank you, Chip. Thank you, really appreciate it. Congratulations, yep. nice buck. Thank you. All thank right, you. thanks. All right guys, so you guys just saw me drop off my deer at the taxidermist it's actually a couple days later and we're going on a hunt now this is my very first bird hunt of the year we're going out with some good friends you guys have seen them plenty of times already Rashawn and Raymond so we're going out we're hunting after some doves and we're we're traveling a little bit of a ways but it's gonna be worth it I'll tell you guys what they've already been out a couple times and they're having some good luck we're all packed up we're just stopping getting some gas but maybe something to eat and we'll be on some doves in no time Super windy out here. Really windy. Got some McDonald's. Got some Powerade. Yep, so now we're about to meet up with um, Rashawn and everybody and go out to our hunting spot. What'd oh you get? Oh my gosh, look at that thing. That looks, <laughs> that looks delicious. delicious right there. A couple too many onions, but it looks pretty good. Yep, we asked for extra sauce, so this one's gonna be a juicy one. How's uh, it? Good? Right. So, now we're gonna go meet up with them and uh, head out to our hunting spot. Man, this burger is delicious. McDonald's hit the spot. I can't even comprehend why somebody would be a vegan. Look at that. Just awesomeness right there. <laughs> they did something. They're doing it right. There's Rashawn. There he hey. is. <laughs> There's Rashawn. Let's go to the gas station we just came from. <laughs> That's where Raymond's at. He needed gas. Oh. Where's Ray at? So, how you been? Good, good, good. Good, good. Good to see you guys again. You guys yeah. ready? Yeah, Roma? we're ready. There you go. Ready Just to go, huh? Yeah, perfect. Be a good video too. Yeah, it's it's a great day. It's just windy, a little yeah. windy. Yeah, I know. Uh, I can't for some reason. It's supposed to be 19 miles an hour. Yeah. Oh, glory's flying. So we're leaving Nevada, crossing into Arizona, going to the good spots. Colorado River. It's nice. It's a little choppy. Even with this temperature, is that they're moving? Yeah, those are morning days. Mornings, so. Yeah. so we're pulling up to our hunting spot. We jumped in the, the vehicle with Raymond. That's the rate. Yep. 
and uh, we're out here to shoot Eurasians because the other seasons haven't opened up yet. When did it open? September 1st? First, yeah. Yeah, September 1st, the regular dove season will open for white wing doves and um, morning doves. But we're out here to get Eurasians. So we'll see what we can do. Where well, we're going to be hunting. And uh, yeah, there's doves flying around everywhere. Find something. What do you think? If you guys get your gear and stuff, I'll go down and check the other end. And today's video, we're out here chasing some doves in this wide open land. We're in Arizona chasing some doves. We're here with some good friends. You guys have seen them plenty of times. Raymond, how you doing, everybody? And Rashawn, he's down there looking. He, I think he saw some doves or something way down there. But he'll be here soon. This whole area, a lot of doves have been landing just in this whole general area and we're just sitting and they slowly start flying over us. Uh, we should have a great day out here and this is a pretty good area so let's see what we can get. We're after Eurasian doves, right? Yes sir. Because well, it's not morning dove season yet? Until the September 1st. Just a warm up on Eurasians. They are uh, unprotected species pretty much almost all over the state. Um, it's always good to come out here and shoot a few practice before the season starts and we'll see what we can do. Alright, so how are you telling the difference between the Eurasians and the mornings right now? Okay, the mornings are darker gray, a lot smaller. Um, they have a pointy tail, they fly more acrobatic. On the other hand, the um, European doves, they're, yeah, they're larger in size, light gray, and they have a square tail. So it's pretty easy to tell the difference. All right, so you know the difference, right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Once you start seeing a bunch, it's pretty easy to tell the difference. Yeah, morning. That's a morning. Morning doves are everywhere around here. Yep. That's you raging right there. So first shot. <laughs> oh, is that it? What, what is that? What? No. Oh no, that's just. First shot of the year at a dove. You found? Oh, there yep. it is. Here we go. Eurasian? Yeah, Eurasian. Nice big one, too. Awesome. Nice one. First dove of the season, of the year. It's going to be windy out here, but hey. First of many, many more to come. It's like a morning. Yep, morning dove. Another morning? Yep, yeah. just landed yeah. there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Alright, so now. we're being swarmed by morning doves. They're teasing us. <laughs> and the Eurasians are... Are nowhere to be seen. Yep, they're holding tight somewhere. Well, we saw one, Adrian Merck, the first one we saw after about two seconds. <laughs> that was so shot. fast, I didn't even get it on film. One shot, one kill so far. So I do have the wind mic on, but the wind is probably going to be an issue out here because we're expecting 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. So we'll see what happens. What's that coming over right there? That's also morning. Morning? Have you seen that dove hunting video? Yeah. When the dude catches the dove, it goes it fine. A dove or a quail? It, it probably was quail? a quail actually. You have seen it though? He's just yeah. like he catches it. I've seen that video. I think it's bob white. Eurasian. Right there. Wait, wait. Go ahead, Raymond. Go ahead, Raymond. Adrian just hit one down that way. Another one. Number two. In the nice books. One. This one was a pretty far shot too. That happened so fast. I know, right? You got one. Finally. Yep. Last time there was water in here. Am I too heavy for this? They try to set me up for failure. Look at how close that is to the edge. make a good meal. Opening day this place is gonna be hot. Hot with doves. A lot of people. Look at this morning coming right at us. Catch them. Watch your hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another one. There would be no dove left shooting them as close as he got. <laughs> yeah. So Adrian and Raymond are set up in this field. Rashawn's right over this way. I'm gonna walk down there see how he's doing. 
I've been hunting out here the last three weeks and I've done good every time. Look at all these coming to the left. Where are they at? There's one. Nice shot. Thank you. <laughs> nice shot. That one went straight down. How hot is it out here? 110? Too hot. Behind you. That was a Euro too. Where's your gun? <laughs> it's rough out here. It is. I'm talking to my dad. He's like, I'm t I sent a picture of you two. And he's like, we're out here shooting dove hunting with the uh, Sin City Outdoors. That's the Eurasian. So I'm thinking. Got him. It's a baby euro. Oh yeah. He ain't even got his collar. He's leaking. Yeah, he drank someplace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which dog is this? That's Callie. Callie? She got a little dub crazy. She was running too much, right? Yeah. So it's important to figure out where your game's eating, resting, drinking, and the areas like, you know, I got, I've got quail on actual timetables. How's that quail spot doing? Which that, one? The one that we go to with, um... We went with Todd? Yeah, Todd. It's going to be an okay year. It's not going to be a spectacular year. O, o 03, o 04, and o 05 were the best quail years I've ever seen in my life. It was so, it was so crazy, Adrian, that we would have a destination where we wanted to hunt and we would never get there. Because you, you'd see so many quail on the way to where you wanted to go, you would be limited out. I have pictures of just hundreds of birds we killed in those seasons. Yeah, the taxidermy guy? Yeah. Yeah, we took the deer down there. It's going to get mounted. Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. There's a scorpion right where I put my hand. I was wondering if there were scorpions out here. Oh, hell yeah. You glad it was a scorpion, not a rattler. That's why you look before you put your fingers. Got a bird. He went down here. Adrian went to go grab some scorpion. There's an ant on it trying to eat our meat. That's my... There you go. Yeah, it was drinking too. I'm gonna go back and see if they got any. All right. With all that shooting, they better. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right. All right. Rashawn has about seven. I have about seven or eight too. How many shots? 20? <laughs> no, I don't know. Wow, that bird, it looked like he got hit, but he flew about 100 yards and then landed in some weeds. Adrian walked up on him and he, he was dead in there. Had his last flight. Raymond's over here marking him. You got about what, seven or eight? Eight, I think I used there. Eight. eight, that's and pretty the good. Morning mornings are everywhere. Yeah, this is challenging. We can go home, clean these guys up, cook them up. You guys heading out? Nah, no, I'm wherever you guys are ready. Just letting the dog get some AC. Yeah, it's nice and hot in there. Okay. Who's Chuck Adams? Wow, he was he used to be the guy for Hoyt, their big representative guy. Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. I forgot how many world records he's broke. He he holds I know he holds a Kodiak bear record with the bow. But Howard Hill and Chuck Adams, it's funny they're both uh, California boys from LA. You can barely see him, but all right guys, we're calling it. We're gonna go check out this last spot really quick. Before uh, before we head out, we're just gonna go ahead and take a picture and everything and check out this spot. Well, and again, your range determines your choke. So if you're shooting at, four, say, 45 to 55 yards, you want a full choke. We see most people always 
And it kills me with people's mindset. They worry about the long shot they shouldn't be taking, and they don't care about the 50 that were at 30 yards. Because yeah. majority of your birds are killed at 35 yards or less. And that range right there is good for skeet choke, improved cylinder, and then it's starting to borderline modified. Because modified's actually, it's effective range is out to 45 yards. So if you're gonna be shooting 45 yards or less, why would you handicap yourself with the full choke or an improved modified? Because you've got less pattern density at that range. Notice that too, because I shoot a full choke and when they're close, I'll miss it. You'll they're miss far, because you've got- My second shot always. Yep, and that's, and that's the thing that people, like I said, your majority of your shots, set yourself up for what you get the most of. In my job, lifetime, Melissa. when the, since I've been with Melissa, I've killed almost 14,000 birds. Dang. Okay, in 25 years, I've killed almost 14,000 birds. I guarantee that man Russ has killed six times what I've killed. Guarantee it. He's a damn good shot. Are those all ours, babe? I still oh, remember okay. which ones are ours. And those three right there, you know. Ours are the most beat up. We got them out in the sun the longest. Here you go, babe. How many you got? Hold on. How many you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I pet it all the time. I bet, man. I couldn't keep my hands off that thing. All right, guys. We just finished filming our dove hunting trip. Had a great time. Got a lot of birds. Uh, it was a little bit slower today, but tons of mornings of white wings. We'll be at, we'll be back for those sooner or later, but. It was a great time, but other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, everything we use, links are down in the description below. Once again, I want to thank all my friends that came. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.